Hello, how are you? My name is Aisha, and today I want to speak about a scumbag cop that had a meth lab in his basement. He had a wife, a kid. He was just an all around scumbag. He could have blew up his neighborhood, but we're not going to talk about his background or nothing. We're not going to talk about if he beat his wife or beat his kids. You know, we don't do that to cops because blue lives matter. But I'm just going to give you, I'm just going to read a, a, a few lines of this article because I find it hilarious that blue lives matter so much and that they're just such awesome, awesome people wearing blue, even though they don't even wear blue in all states. Oh, that's another story. But Let's just talk about these scumbags real fast. So this happened in New Jersey. And this article is from USA Today. So I will read a little bit. I won't read the whole thing because I really don't care. I just feel like for once, well, you know, we always should shame people that do horrible things. But let's just shame some cops this time around. How about that? Since they always shame us. Talk about people that have been shot in the back 15 times. They go back to fifth grade. You know, they handcuffs little kids and then tell us that they fear for their lives. So let's just talk about these little people <laughs> for a while. I'm trying not to cuss, but yeah, this world, you know. So the heading is disappointing beyond measure because they're disappointed that a cop could do something so bad, so vile, while they're a blue life. You know what I'm saying? So this happened in Long Branch, New Jersey. A New Jersey police department is reeling following the arrest and suspension of one of its longtime police officers after prosecutors said a meth lab was found at his home. So he's been suspended. If you found a meth, a meth lab at my home, my black ass would be in jail. But he is suspended. Hey, hey, I'll even go even further. If you found a meth lab in a poor white person's home, your ass would be in jail. But he just gets suspended. So let's talk about it. Chris Walls, a 19-year veteran of the Long Branch Police Department, faces several charges related to manufacturing and operating a methamphetamine production facility. He also faces charges related to firearm possession and endangering the welfare of a child. What a scumbag. Oh my goodness. Such a horrible person, right? How did he be, how did he get on the police force? Is what I'm trying to wrap my small mind around because criminals should not be on the police report, right? Or on the police, um, we we are the criminals, right? So we shouldn't be on the force because we're the criminals. We're the ones that have meth labs, not these upstanding citizens, right? It's still kind of a shock for us all, some dude said. After working with this man for 15, 16 years, none of this makes sense. Oh, none of it makes sense? Yeah, because blue lives matter. Blue lives. Police were called to the home of a 50-year-old police officer Saturday night for a domestic disturbance. While there, a resident told police that Walls was involved in suspicious narcotics activity. What? The neighbors are snitching? This is the guy. He's probably looking like that because he's like, what? I'm a cop. I shouldn't go to jail. I don't give a shit what I did. I don't care if I was trafficking children, drugs. I'm a male. I've given my life to the police force and I don't deserve it. That's what he's saying to the rest of us. A police hazmat unit responded to the home walls shared with his wife and child. What? You have children there? I feel like you deserve to get shot in the back five times, you know? And found chemicals, materials, and instruments commonly used in methamphetamine, <gasps> Met oh. methamphetamine laboratories in Wall's basement and in a shed on the property. So this bitch was trying to blow up the whole neighborhood. He was like, you know what? 
it's not enough that I got chemicals in my house. I got to take it to the outside. So if it blows up, it really blows up. The hazmat team also found meth residue in lab glassware on the property and books relating to making methamphetamine, explosives, and poison. What? Sorry, there's planes going over my house right now, if you can hear that. Officers also found a large open and unsecured gun safe in the house. Oh my God goodness despite a child living in the home so he didn't even keep his safe closed you guys what a criminal inside the safe were two long guns what four handguns what eight high capacity magazines and ammunition oh that's not what a cop does blue lives matter guys blue lives remember that blue lives matter the officers in our agency risks their lives daily to protect and serve our residents. It is disappointing beyond measure that one of our officers could have risked the safety of his family and neighbors by engaging in such dangerous conduct. Blue Lives Matter. Huh, the city's police director will file dis disciplinary charges moving to firewalls, because remember, he's just on suspension for having a whole meth lab. The city has a no tolerance policy for any illegal activity committed by police officers. They must be held to the highest standard. They, they, it's true because, you know, they're such pillars of the community. They're such gods, you know what I mean? Like we should really uphold them as Jesus Christ, because let me tell you, they do everything necessary to keep you safe, even the black citizens, even the poor citizens. They're so great to us, they love us. All we have to do is just give them a high five and they just show, they just pour love on top of us. I mean, sometimes they pour bullets on top of us, but most of the time it's just love and just showing how much they love the community. You know what I mean? Walls faces up to 20 years in prison if convicted of operating a meth lab. Oh my God, he's gonna have such a hard time there, guys. We should um, pool our money together and make sure he gets the best lawyers because a meth lab gun-toting police officer deserves to be out on the street serving us. He deserves to protect us, you guys. So I'm done with this. I will leave this in the um the description but i want you guys to know from the bottom of my heart that blue lives matter like they're even showing you that blue lives matter by putting a blue background because that's how serious this is and so blue lives matter i don't want you guys to ever forget that your black lives don't matter your poor white white lives don't matter uh the mexicans don't matter they keep throwing their kids in cages um everybody else you guys' lives don't matter just shut up blue lives matter i hope you guys have a wonderful day and you love this whole skit bye